Hey guys, this is just a quick video demonstrating how to create a clipping mask. Now a clipping mask is basically just cropping your image to fit into a certain shape that you want. So instead of it being this square, maybe you would rather have this crop down into a nice neat circle. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is click on the shape that you want to crop it down to. I'm going to click on the ellipse and I want this to be a nice circle. Crop that down so it, the circle is framing that little toy car. To create a perfect circle, again, you just hold the shift as you click and drag so that it doesn't warp. I'm going to take off that stroke and make sure it's just filled. All right, I'm going to move this over just slightly like that so it's ready to crop. Now, the thing that you need to keep in mind is that whatever we want to crop, the, say the photo, we want that to be on top of the shape that we are cropping it to. So make sure that your photograph is right on top of the shape that you want to crop it. Then all you have to do is simply right click and say clipping mask. Then it creates this nice clipping mask of a circle right around the object that you want to crop down. Now the one thing I'm noticing in this is that it's slightly off center. All you have to do is make sure you're in the layer, the photo layer. You can just move it around. You can scale it by holding shift, move it around and position it exactly where you want it. Now say I wanted to move this whole thing off to the side. What you'll notice is that you can't move the entire circle. Even if you're in the shape layer, it won't move. What needs to happen if you want to move this down or scale it is you have to select both of these layers at the same time so that you're moving both layers. To do that, you hold the shift key and you make sure that both layers are selected. That allows you to move both layers at the same time. So you can scale both of the layers and move them around the page. Okay, the other option, I'm gonna go back in my history, redo. Now the other option is maybe you wanna create a more unique circle and just have a cropping of a thick line of a circle all the way around, and I'll show you what I mean. So let's say you wanna do circle, I'm do the exact same thing move it over a little bit, but this time, instead of just having the circle filled in, I'm actually going to leave the inside blank and have a nice thick stroke all the way around the rim of the circle. You can change the size if you want. There we go. All right, I'm gonna center it about like that. Now, again, remember your photograph has to be on top of the shape you want to clip it to. And then again, you just right click, you say clipping mask, and now it creates this unique circle with the circle cut out on the inside. So that's another way you can use a clipping mask. I'm going to go back again and show you one more way you can use a clipping mask. Now, let's say you wanted to create text and clip all of this photograph into the back of uh, your text. So instead of having just your text, maybe like a black or a blue, you could actually create a photo in the background of that text. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is add a text layer, uh, type out whatever you want. I'm gonna just call this mask. I'm gonna move it down, scale it up a little bit. Just like that. And I'm using a font that's a little bit wider so I can see some images, some of my image in the background. Now again, your photograph has to be on top of what you wanna clip it to. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say clipping mask. And now I've got a photograph behind my text instead of just a simple color. It makes it look a little more unique. It gives it some interesting looks to the text that you maybe wouldn't get from just a simple color. There are three different ways you can use a clipping mask. Uh, feel free to play around and try out a few of these techniques.